Hi friends, welcome back to All in Law. This is Quick Internal Medicine, and today I'm gonna talk about the EKG findings due to what you call digoxin. So digoxin is a really very important drug and this is a really very important topic for your USMLE or any other medical board examination or even for your clinical practice. So digoxin you know very well it has a what you call a characteristic effect on ST segment. So remember it characteristically affects the ST segment okay. So there is a particular sign I would like to tell you. In a digoxin, we're going to have a two things, two EKG changes, two types of EKG changes. One that at the therapeutic levels, okay, one that is at therapeutic levels and another one is at what you call toxic levels. So remember, if it's a toxic, then you have to be very cautious, you have to treat that. That's why you should know the EKG changes. EKG changes will help you to know whether the de what is the level of digoxin in the blood okay guys so try to memorize these changes these are really very important so let's start about what you call changes that are seen at therapeutic levels therapeutic levels okay so EKG changes of due to digoxin on what you call therapeutic levels are one is Reverse stick sign that is a ST segment depression. You know, guys, this is a normal, right? Right? P, Q, R, S, and T, right? What happens is the ST segment over here due to digoxin, digoxin or digoxin, the tall R is will be there. okay so this sign is known as what you call reverse stick sign st segment depression okay and remember the second change will be reduction in the t wave size there will be reduction in the t wave size okay become smaller and a shortening of what you call qd interval qd interval shortening okay these are the changes that takes place at the therapeutic levels okay now let's talk about the toxic levels what happens when there is a uh, digoxin is at the toxic level first is the T wave inversion okay and we have different types of arrhythmias almost all arrhythmias can take place but especially remember sinus bradycardia then we have proximal atrial tachycardia with block then we have ventricle ectopics then ventricular what you call bigeminy ventricular tachycardia and we have what you call atrioventricular block These are really very important guys so try to memorize these things very important in the toxic at toxic level the T wave inversion you see you see the different almost all arrhythmias but the most important being sinus bradycardia okay paroxysmal atrial tachycardia with a the block then we have ventricular ectopics ventricular bigeminy ventricular tachycardia and atrial ventricular block so this is really very important thank you so much for watching this video take care